everyone, Elite here with a new process video for Shimmer's Paints. And I'm starting like I like to start with trying to match my uh, paints and sprays to the products I, n I think I know I will be using. I actually, uh, as I was making this, somehow I forgot that I started from this paper pad. This is the gorgeous Pink Paisley Summer Lights uh, 6x6 paper pad. It's their kind of mini summer collection. Uh, I have a haul showing uh, all I got from that collection on my channel, so check that out. And yeah, so I forgot about it and um, yeah, but I managed to find uh, products that coordinated with my background anyway. So I'm just gathering some paints, some uh, pasties, which are uh, texture pa pastes uh, without shimmer. Uh, Shimmers also has uh, pastes with shimmer. So these are the flat ones. And of course, a few sprays because sprays are just my favorite to work with. I think they they're just the easiest and most fun to use and those are the ones that I always grab but I thought I would mix it up also with some paint. So I'm starting with some white cardstock and some Liquitex gesso and I'm spreading it with a uh, old credit card that I cut up and what you can't really see in the video is that um, it really leaves these uh, tiny lines, which is okay if you want that texture, but I kind of wanted it a bit smoother. So that's why at some point I'm going to switch to another tool to spread it. Of course you can use a brush, but this is faster and it doesn't have any additional water. Um, so that's good because cardstock doesn't really handle water any good. Um, doesn't really handle water well. Wow. Uh, English lesson needed. <laughs> so I also decided to already start with adding some of this uh, pasties. Beautiful, that beautiful teal color is called Tree Hugger and I'll have all the products I use listed in the blog post. So uh, don't worry if you miss that. And I had some leftovers on that piece of credit card so I just grabbed an art journal uh, and swiped it there. Don't waste anything. And there I switched to something uh, easier. And this is kind of like um, a silicone, like a spatula or something like that. Um, it's great. I've had it for years now and it just works really well and everything just peels off. Uh, if you bother to peel it off, if you don't, then you'll have a dirty uh, silicone applicator like mine, <laughs> but it's really nice and you know, you don't have to wash it or mess around with any wet brushes. So now I'm thinking what else do I want to use and um, the best thing would have been to just let it dry, but you know, I'm a little bit impatient. Also, I uh, mostly craft when my baby is napping and yeah, so the um, the heat gun is a the heat tool is a little bit loud and that's why I mostly don't use it. And yeah, so I wanted to add a little bit of yellow. It always brings uh, warmth to a page. So I just sprinkled uh, a few splatters from the No Yokin um, coloring spray, which is just a flat, uh, lovely bright yellow. It's one of my favorites, one of my go-tos, one of those colors that I just keep on using. And then I decided to add some circles with, well, no, this is Oh Hey Can You See? It's also a colorings. And the problem is you want to be careful when you're doing this because I kind of used the tip of the nozzle to draw these circles and my gesso and paint were not completely dry. Um, so it can clog up your nozzle. So don't do that. Just dry your first layer before you start adding something else. And then I tried to blend it with my water brush and because the gesso was not dry, <laughs> my water brush got some gesso on it. So I kind of freaked out and cleaned it because I don't want to ruin it. And um, yeah, so now I'm trying to think of how can I, <laughs> how can I, um, you know, just spread it around and I had to um, give in and use a brush. <laughs> so I grabbed uh, one of my, this is kind of like a cheap uh, 
brush set that I got from Amazon for a few euros. Uh, it's just a, a big, a large set of round brushes and I only use it for acrylic paint. Um, well, in this case, it's actually mist that I'm spreading around, but the gesso is still wet, as I have repeatedly said. <laughs> um, so that's why I didn't want to use any of my nicer watercolor brushes. So then I decided to add the pink, but guess what? Since everything else was still wet, it kind of made a little bit of mud because it had the yellow and the uh, aqua color underneath it. So when you add all these colors, you get a little bit of mud. Um, so I kind of gave up on that paint idea. And um, yeah, and I'm just, this area is a little bit messed up, but I wasn't worried because I knew that's roughly where my photo will go so I can um, mess it up a bit and then I decided it needed some pink because well it is my layout so of course it needs pink and I am using this is I think that one is pink stilettos I want to say um, which is a lovely hot pink this is pink stilettos. Okay, I'm really bad. No, this is pink stilettos. And then the previous one uh, is called Ruby, which is also a lovely pink, but that one has some, uh, some shimmer in it. And pink stiletto is a flat spray without shimmer. And I don't mind mixing them. I usually, I usually, I usually just grab the color I like and uh, it doesn't really matter to me if it has shimmer or not, um, but just an FYI. So, of course, the packaging technique because it just looks so good and it's so easy and fast. And yeah, you can, because I added gesso, I can add, you know, as much sprays as I want because the gesso kind of protects the paper. Uh, if I didn't use gesso, then um, the more water you use or the more sprays you use, the more your cardstock will buckle if you're using um, like something like American Crafts uh, cardstock. I have heard about the Basil Marshmallow cardstock that it can totally handle uh, mists, but I don't really have a way to, um, to get my hands on it. Uh, here in Europe, I've looked around and I can't really find it. So uh, shipping from the US is horrendous. It's like super expensive and paper is heavy. So anyway, if you want to use a lot of mists, I recommend using gesso. It won't give you exactly the watercolor look, but it does look beautiful as you can see. So it's pretty close. Um, it still looks great. Then I added some splatters in plum pudding, um, just wanted a bit of a darker color. And now I sped up the video um, even faster than before, before I kept it kind of slower so that you can see how I created the background. But now it's just, um, you know, adding papers and embellishments. So I thought we could um, make this a little bit faster so it's not that boring to you. And I, yeah, at this point I forgot I wanted to use those pink paisley papers. And instead I pulled out this uh, older Maggie Holmes collection for crate paper. I um, can't remember how this one was called. It had kind of a school theme to it. And um, yeah, so it had some, let's say, I don't know, like more intense, deeper colors. But I thought in small um, doses, you know, just peeking behind my photo, um, I can handle <laughs> those darker colors. Because <laughs> usually I just like to use um, more lighter colors on my layouts. And I thought I was going to um, add some foam adhesive behind it, but I end up removing it because I'm going to add a lot of chipboard and that's also dimensional and it was kind of giving me trouble trying to layer everything uh, when the photo was so much uh, so much more like higher than the level of the paper and I'm sorry if you can hear Lily screaming in the background my husband is brushing her teeth and she's not a fan <laughs> so sorry about that don't think we're 
um, neglecting. Don't think I'm making videos instead of, um, you know, playing with her or taking care of her, <laughs> trying to brush her teeth. So I pulled out all my, sorry that the uh, film, that the movie, that the video <laughs> is a movie, <laughs> got a little bit, um, you know, burnt out there. Um, it's just the light. It depends, you know, how cloudy it is or suddenly the sun shines. So the white balance gets messed up a little bit sometimes. Anyway, I pulled out my uh, chipboard stash, which is, I think all of it is just crate paper, Maggie Holmes and crate paper, and just um, fiddled around and moved things around until I got the arrangement that I wanted. And what was really fun, um, I totally mixed, I don't know, like four collections, I think, uh, in the embellishments here. And that's the great thing about using the same manufacturer that usually everything coordinates. So these balloons are by Maggie Holmes from the Confetti Collection. And then the Oh Happy Moments, I think, is from the newer Crate Paper Oasis Collection. That camera is also from that collection. Uh, I'm going to grab some um, banners uh, again from that, uh, I can't remember how that that collection was called with um, kind of that school theme. I don't know, it was also Maggie Holmes. Okay, I checked. <laughs> that collection is called Shine and I think it's from like two years ago, something like that. So that um, kind of banner there is from that collection and this flower is from her Bloom collection. So you see that I totally mixed um, the collections and I think it just, it all works together. And the colors work beautifully with my background also, so I'm super happy. And yeah, just playing around with these cute uh, banners. Eventually I will find a good space for them. <laughs> so I wanted to trim down um, my cardstock and then mat it on some pattern paper. And I already knew that I want something uh, black and white just to add some contrast. So I'm going to go through my stash of crate paper papers, start from there. And uh, luckily I had uh, some very nice option, but I, options, but I'll, I decided to go with this um, really um, bold black and white diagonal stripe from, from one of the Maggie Holmes collections. Um, it's just, you know, whatever you have in your stash will work. Uh, they all coordinate beautifully. And she has an almost, I think in all of her collections, she has uh, some black and white patterns. So moving things around until I get them to the place I want. And this photo is a photo I took with my phone, a uh, selfie of my daughter Ella, my eldest, and her cousin, my niece, and myself. And we were just playing around in my other niece's uh, birthday party. So they had this area with these cute little props and um, the girls uh, grabbed some of them and they look super cute. So I would definitely wanted to scrapbook that cute photo. Ella has a pipe and her cousin has a hat and a mustache. Very cute. They, I guess they have a whole British detective theme going on without even knowing it. <laughs> so I'm just adhering everything and you want to make sure it's um, really nicely adhered because of the gesso and the paint and all that. You don't want all these chippered pieces falling to the bottom of your... Um, page protector. And I think this would also actually look great in a frame or something like that. But uh, yeah, maybe one day I will <laughs> buy such frames. <laughs> I've been wanting to buy, um, you know, these shadow boxes for ages and put my scrapbook layouts, but I keep forgetting. So make sure you mention my name when you make a purchase in the Shimmers store and you'll get a freebie. Here are some close-ups of my um, project. I really had fun making this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. Have a lovely day and check out my new online class. Bye!